A natural antivirals for our dogs and cats. These are my top five. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, click down there to subscribe, click the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. If your dog or cat has a viral infection, you're probably wondering, is there something natural I can try? And does any of this stuff ha have any studies to back it? More than just sort of these internet claims. And as you may or may not know, there's a bunch of things on the inter internet that are claiming like you can burn this essential oil, take this funky supplement, and you're gonna kill viruses dead in their tracks. First, every virus is different, so they all don't act the same. So that being obviously not all the different uh, natural supplements, the natural options are gonna work the same on every virus. But there has been research done on an array of different natural products. I'm gonna show you ones that actually have five studies showing them effective against an array of different viruses. Um, potentially they could be helpful if your dog or cat has a virus, even yourself. This is one I've been talking about a fair amount, especially in light of respiratory viruses and obviously the coronavirus. It is this guy here, it is elderberry. So elderberry is this common North American flowering shrub. It has been shown to be quite effective in helping one, decrease the duration, the severity of some of the signs and symptoms of cold and flu. So the more common flu viruses. An easy way to take it is getting this, these concentrated, it's a really dried concentrated form, so it actually comes in a powder. I'm gonna show you guys up close just how I'm taking it. Now you give it to your dog or cat. So in this dried elderberry concentrate, each scoop of that dark purple berry here, each scoop contains a thousand milligrams. Standard amount would be 100 to 200 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight twice daily. I've been taking myself a thousand milligrams, one to two thousand milligrams twice a day. So if you're going to dose your dog or cat with that elderberry extract, uh, like with Tula, there's a thousand milligrams. I would be giving her about a quarter of that cup of that elderberry twice a day. The next supplement I'd have you consider is licorice root tincture. So here, we're here. Here's the licorice root tincture here. Both Tula and I have had the licorice root tincture. Tula had a cough a few weeks ago. Woke up with a cough. I woke up with a sore throat. I treated her for two days with this. She responded great. So licorice root has a pile of research behind it. It's one of the more common um, plants used in Chinese medicine. But in particular, it was actually studied during, during the 2003 SARS outbreak. They're looking at some ingredients in an, in an extract of licorice root being effective against the, the SARS virus at the time. So meaning it's a pretty dang important supplement and one I think all of us should be really aware of. I really like using the licorice root extract in combination with the elderberry. Based on Tula's size, I would be giving her a half a mil, which is a half of the dropper full of the tincture. So there you go, Tula, that's mixed in with your elderberry. Third, there is a product that comes from honeybees. It's actually called propolis. So it's part of what, what comes out of the um, beehive with our bees producing honey. And propolis itself has been specifically studied, no, not for some of the flu viruses, but has been studied primarily for some of its antibacterial, anti-inflammatory properties, but was also shown to be beneficial against the herpes virus. More specifically, you know, dealing with, say, the herpes virus is causing cold sores. But my point being is actually has been shown to be antiviral. So an easy way to give it is, get yeah, here it is, a 33% propolis extract and a liquid extract. Pretty standard dose, it's quite concentrated, is about two drops for 10 pounds of body weight. Just gonna shake that up, put in two drop, four drops for Tula. There you go, Tula. As you can see there, once I've added in the propolis, it's kind of turned our elderberry licorice root con concoction, a little bit of a whitish color. Mm. 
It's kind of nice. That propolis has got a little bit of sweetness to it. Remedy number four. Something all of us have in our fridge. This guy, ginger. So ginger has been studied on another type of human respiratory virus, uh, human respiratory syncytial virus. Uh, but once again, I'll put a link to those studies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reference all of them with all the five remedies. You can have a look at the studies themselves. So an easy thing to do is here's some fresh ginger. You're gonna cut that up, chop up about a tablespoon, right? Chop it up pretty fine, simmer that in water, uh, about a cup of water, simmer that for about 15 minutes. And there you've got your great concentrated uh, ginger potenti potential ant antiviral. As far as kind of dose a dog or cat, you know, of that, about a teaspoon of that for 10 pounds of body weight twice daily. Number five, it's one that I'm pretty confident you have not heard about. It's the use of a common weed many of us have in our lawns. That's right, it's dandelion root. So I actually have some dried dandelion root here. I picked it up at my local natural health store. I ground it up fine in a coffee grinder, added it to this bottom and let it sit for about 15 minutes. Made this kind of almost a nutty sort of brownish, almost kind of maybe a little bit medicinal, but almost like it's seen as a coffee substitute. So healthy, it's the ground dandelion root. And here's my cup of it poured myself a cup of dandelion root tea. Add a little bit of honey, <laughs> made it made to make it taste a little bit better. As far as it has been studied against its effects against the human influenza virus. I've done a video on dandelion root showing how it's actually being now used to treat some of the cancers, some of the serious cancers that are non chemo responsive. Grind it up fine. You're gonna simmer about, put about a tablespoon in about a cup of water. And you're gonna dose your dog at about a quarter of that cup. So about a quarter of a cup for 20 pounds of body weight twice daily. I've added in a little bit of honey, making it much more palatable, easy to give. Um, and I just think dandelion period has so many different um, potential positive ben benefits. Um, the dandelion root itself in particular, especially when we're looking at some of the cancers, makes sense to me it's a, as an effective antiviral. Thanks so much for watching this edition on Veterinary Secrets on my top five natural antivirals for dogs and cats. If you've yet to do so, click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.